Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Death Stranding on the Mysterious JG. It took me a second to remember what this game was called. We're um, we're ready to advance the story. I'm hoping we get to bring our bike with us, but whether we get to bring it or not, it's uh, time for us to leave the private room and head for the next phase of the story. As far as I can make out, we're basically just going straight west, and once we reach California, I'm sure there'll be some kind of big plot excitement showdown, but the game's going to end. So we're going to head for the harbor. Yeah, these grenades just take up a lot of space. They're big. And they're only on the family channel. So all those stamina restoring signs, I just, they put them right outside of the base. Like, I don't know if I, if I started setting those up out in the wilds, would fewer people use them? Would they be more beneficial to the people who did? Would I start getting likes? And if I did, would that actually do something? I don't know. I really don't. Oh, Mama's calling. Gonna catch a ride on that boat, Sam? Actual Kodak. <laughs> It'd be a shame to abandon something important, though, especially if you were close to finishing a run. My advice, put that stuff in your private locker in Fort Not Safe. Or, if you're feeling responsible, you could just delay your boat trip until you've tied up loose ends. It's your call. Oh, well, I, hey, we actually got to talk to somebody on a codec with a picture, which seems unusual for this game. Okay. Looks like we don't get to take anything with us. Well, you know what? Yeah, they, they made that pretty clear that we're abandoning all of our cargo. But it's possible that... Uh, well, never mind. I, I thought I was going to get a chance to do a U-turn a here. I think I just lost a bunch of um, metal and stuff and ceramics, but we'll see. Maybe I didn't. Oh, a plot lady's back. You came through then. <laughs> I thought we already saw her. Oh, her name is like fragile, I think, isn't it? You saw that yeah. asshole too, right? He's he's the leader of a separatist group. I'm a big fan of his. To me like he was controlling that BT. That's level seven for you. Higher, maybe. Seems like you know a lot about him. Apparently, I had the sound on this whole time on my TV and didn't notice. Yes, you could say we had a contract. Contract. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's contact. Him. Whoever pays. Huh? Well, he wasn't a terrorist at the time. He like that back then. Yeah, he was a nice guy. So what's your angle? You want to save the world, or you want to fuck it all up like him? Hey, listen. I'm weird, lady. You need to be nice to me. I wish I. I just wish things were different. All right. You know, more fucked up. We need to be nice to her. She's the only female that we've met in the flesh in this game. She's actually the only person we've met in the flesh in this game, other, I guess, than the guys that we occasionally fight, uh, the mules, who might, some of them Don't might be worry. ladies. She still floats. Like hope. Come on. We're the only cargo left. What about my metal and ceramics? Episode 3. Fragile. Oh, we got we got crying pretty lady uh, as our new um, splash screen. Post box is gonna be used to return lost cargo. This might be more important now that we're on another continent. If we can somehow magically use private boxes to send things across space. Oh, 
Dragile Express. Yep, I guess all my stuff's gone. But now we see him as unstripped as he, you can ever see him, I guess. Any other people in this world at all I could talk to, lady? Penny for your thoughts. We should get there tomorrow. You just kind of came over and started talking to him. Maybe he didn't want to be talked to. I mean, it's a thing. She's, she's probably pretty lonely considering she's the only person at all in her universe. His universe consists of him and like, you know, a couple holograms. And I guess Baby. Oh, you dropped your picture. This will be important. That's a picture of your dead president mom. Or your alive you president's sister. The past just won't let go. No matter how many times you drop it in front of me so that I have to pick it up and then you're trying to trick me into asking you about it. You know, this lake seems like a fairly safe place as far as not having BB or BTs attacking. I have something to ask of you. And it had to do with that asking. Thanks. Could you ask him out for me? Find out if he likes me? Should you just fall asleep? Yeah, he's got to be a pretty disappointing love interest for her. Talk about load capacity. This guy's big load like Scott Demore, am I right? I don't know. See, anytime there's a woman who's presented in some ways being... Oh, red high-heeled shoes. That's sexy. Oh, it's your sister. <laughs> That time in September? Yeah, no one in this game talks like a normal person. I guess Kojima games aren't known for naturalistic dialogue, but... time to go, Sam. So, he aged and she didn't? I'm not... Is he... Every time he sees her, he's seeing this image of... No what he remembered her looking like? That... I don't know. No idea that I was alive. Living is no different from being dead if you're all alone. Thanks, game. I got a single apartment over here. I thought he said, but apparently it was you were warm. I don't want to go home. President Mom's a bitch. I don't want to go home. I'd rather build a bridge and then drive a trike across it and get killed by monsters. <laughs> or is that your mom when she was young? I don't... It'll steal your dreams away. And I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Did you forget how to go home? You don't want to grow Come up. On. He's Toys R Us kid. He wants to use his blood and grenades to kill lots of your teeth. You know, I'm starting to think I'm going to get a whole week's worth of videos without actually doing anything on this other continent. Come and find me. So seriously, what's up with you not aging? 
Or am I just... Uh, am I hallucinating what you look like then? Because I haven't actually seen you. We used to play together a lot in this place. And by play together, I mean I would make you go home. I couldn't make the trip on my own. So long as you have a body to return to, you can't come and go as you please. So the key is to get rid of your body. Keys through here. Not until you make us whole again, Sam. Wait, that looked like a wedding picture. I really don't know what's going on, by the way, if you hadn't figured that out. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Because the beach is some kind of weird connection between the world of the living and the world of the dead. Find me. But she's not dead. She's alive in California. That's... That's one of the few things I thought I knew was going on, is that your sister is alive and is being held prisoner in California. But anyway, I guess, like, Crying Pretty Lady is going to be our new, um... Oh, Controlled Reverse Trike. That that gives me some hope that we will have a trike in this new zone. Anyway, alright, so... I mean, it's not as crazy with story scenes as, uh, like, a lot of Metal Gear games would be. So I, I can't really, by Kojima standards, it's not like we're having huge amounts of story with no action. But there was a huge shift from, say, Guns of the Patriots to Phantom Pain as far as huge open world areas with, like, no story elements at all. Um, and then to the point where you kind of wish there was some story that was happening. <laughs> Versus Guns of the Patriots, where it was you're pretty much just watching a movie, and occasionally hitting a couple of buttons. This had a lot of story early, and then it turned into a Phantom Pain kind of deal, where you're just running around, very rarely getting filled in. Need to pick me up? Those really don't appeal to him. Yes, you have to get to figure out. Welcome to Lake Knot City. Oh, I guess uh, we find out now whether or not we can swim. What? Nothing. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright. I'm just a little going out. All oh, that noise that was really not disturbing. Yeah, we get an actual Kodak call from somebody whose face appeared on screen when we talked to them. That was crazy. And it told us not to come here with cargo because it would all disappear. And yet I came here with cargo and it all disappeared. This it cargo is from Port Knot City, bound for Lake Knot. Lake Forget Me Knot. I'll leave these up to you. Or maybe that was my cargo. Terminal is up ahead. In the meantime, I've got some business to attend to. Later, alligator. Aren't you going to offer me a snack? What the hell? Offer me a snack, damn it. It's the only thing I've come to expect from you. Well, it's certainly a slightly different... It feels more like... Oh, maybe this is all the stuff that we dropped. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, some of it is. Okay. Because we got our hermetic grenades. Furiously picking up cargo. Okay, how we go. If we get up to the dispatch terminal without dropping it. Okay. Anybody home? So here's where I'm basically at now. Cargo. Well, I was fine until I picked up all this spam and eggs.
We have to offload them. We can get them all later. No, damn it. I don't want to pick them up now. I want to offload them. Just for the time being. I hate you, game. I hate you, game. Because it made me automatically pick them up. Which I didn't want to do. And that caused me to fucking lose my balance and drop a bunch of shit and damage it. So, what the fuck? Okay, fine. The game's not gonna freaking let me... It's not gonna let me let go of this shit. Fucking... This... So stupid. Yeah, I selected multiple. What's... Can I, can I please offload them? Okay. So I damaged some of my cargo because of this nonsense, and now I don't remember how I comfort the damn baby, but... Alright, let me just. This is getting ridiculous, but why not? Let's just go to tips. Navigating. Sam controls. Avoid losing your balance. Scanning. BB. Soothing BB. Oh, and again, I can't read any of this stuff. It's all my L1 plus down plus square. There, now I can stop soothing BB and get back to. This is, this is annoying the shit out of me, by the way. Okay. Where, she said the cargo thing is up ahead. Where the fuck is it? I mean, this feels more like a real location than any place previously in the game, but... Now I just have... I have no idea where the hell we're supposed to be going with this stuff, because I, I can't pass it by without picking it up now. It automatically makes him pick it up if his hands are free. I guess I could be carrying metals and crap in my hands so that they're not free to pick that shit up, but... Maybe the, maybe if I go down here and don't go up the stairs, the uh, terminal's over here. This didn't seem like it was going anywhere. Yeah, I'm... This is... This is annoying. So the purpose of this delivery... It seems like, okay, I just have to deliver these things and I'm just delivering them within this building. So it's not like there should be a big challenge involved, but... I'm just really annoyed that I know some I know some stuff's containers got damaged. I don't think the materials got damaged. And somebody pointed out damaged containers doesn't matter as long as you don't manage the contents. I'm like, I get that. I still feel like what the f It's still annoying. 
Apparently those vehicles are not at my disposal. Get out of my mind, liquid! Spent a whole video wandering around back and forth in this place, just uh, moving stuff towards the front of the base. Emergency exit only. Well, there's a force field. It makes it feel like home. Do I get to use any of those vehicles? I saw vehicles with, like red symbols over their tires to indicate I need to stay the hell away from them. They're not for me to use. This is Bridges headquarters. Okay, Lake Knot City. Here we go. Hello. Contaminating sewage. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Here we are, back in a completely stock uh, setting where I can feel comfortable and secure. We can deliver requested cargo. And meet some new asshole hologram who's... Good work. That's it? Okay. Apparently I didn't deliver it, so what the fuck? Okay, fine. Hold on. Private. Let's get a private locker going. Put some of this stuff that I'm carrying around. This is. Just... Oh yeah. Why can't I? Why can't I recycle the metals? Isn't that what I freaking brought them here for? Oh my place all this in a private locker and then I guess I'll just carry around all that other shit that was back there because I thought I recycled metals and ceramics but apparently not so whatever I was supposed to yeah I, I, whatever tiny little thing I was supposed to be doing there I managed to screw it up but I don't think any enemies are going to be attacking me in here so I guess I can just freely take my time and wander around and figure this out. Hopefully I don't get into an action battle here now that I've got nothing equipped, but... So that's the thing. Yeah. 
All right, well, let's start at the beginning and just slowly gather all this shit together. Because this big facility here doesn't seem to be useful to us. Okay. This will probably complete the delivery now. Probably also take us to a point where it's now really po really difficult to move quickly because of the heavy stuff, but... Try to get some momentum and hope we don't hit any doors. Yeah, fine. Sure. Great. Thank you. I don't... <sighs> I don't know what's going on with my connection and this game, but uh, they don't like each other. So anyway, this is a pretty exciting video, huh? <laughs> Wandering back and forth in the... Or at least we get to see the... Like, Fragile Express, like, even though his only employee seems to be that one lady, she's got quite a... Quite an operation going with uh, lots of signage and uh, open space, and there's all sorts of um, infrastructure, and uh, you know, very impressive considering she seems to be doing it entirely by herself. I mean, we have we have not met any Fragile uh, Express employees other than Fragile. Bridges me so all all there's only two companies left in the world. Both of them deliver cargo, and are just named after the person who's in charge. Because your Sam Porter Bridges, your sister, I think, is the one whom Bridges is named after. So I guess now that I'm in offline mode, I won't get little signs that um, occasionally give me stamina. But I shouldn't have those anyway until I complete the first plot mission or two, because I'm supposed to be, like, the first person from Bridges out here. Except I'm not, because Bridges has a base here, so I don't know. This base has already existed, and I'm just getting them back on network, I guess, is what's happening. There we go. So we delivered all three containers of aid. Which was our actual mission. Welcome, welcome. You're watching your boat the whole way. I hate to be a hard ass, but I've got to ask. Did you introduce yourself before you ask? Nothing dangerous or illicit. I'm sure they checked you on the way in, but I'm going to have to take a second look. You want me to answer your question or no? Okay. Cool, buddy. I hope I get an S for this. But I obviously did a terrible job wandering around back and forth. Incredible inefficiency. <coughs> I still got an S. Ceramics can now be used at all uh, Yuka affiliated bases. The amount of materials can be used in Lake Knot has increased. Oh, okay, I couldn't. I couldn't donate because I hadn't done this yet, I guess, maybe. I'm almost as uh, popular here as I am at uh, Jake Wynn's Windstorm factory. And his name is William Lake, because this game is retarded. I don't know what a Cupid is. Oh, Cupid is this stupid thing with the, chi the keys. Okay. 
So now this place is on the network, which I guess now I'll be able to donate ceramics and metals. That's why I couldn't do it before. Okay. And we get to freak out our baby here. <laughs> and you know what? I think that's a good place to call it a video. When we come back next time, I'll have a controller connected so we can finish this exciting cinematic. See you then, guys.